And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is Mario, he is surrounded by toads right now, I'm not exactly sure why, but when we last left off, we were in the Mushroom Kingdom here, and we were uh, about to take on a boss, so I ended up stopping at it. I uh, hope it's not too big of a spoiler that there is a boss here. Uh, just a quick little recap here. Uh, in the flowers, I used all the flower jars that I had. Got up to 24 flowers. Uh, everybody's level 5. There's the stats for Mario. There's the stats for Mallow. Um, the second stat on the attack and the defense is due to equipment. As you can see, Mallow doesn't have any attacking equipment yet, but we'll get there, folks. We'll get there. So let's move on now. Get out of my way. Let's just go. Alright, I'm gonna avoid these guys once again. Looks like, oh, I do have to fight this guy. Alright, let's continue on. I did go back and heal, actually. Uh, let's see, I don't want to get into any more fights. Let's try to avoid these if we can. Sweet. And now we're here. What? You can't move in here. Well, I can bounce in your way. Apparently bouncing is the new thing to do. And there they go. Let's just run right in the middle of them. What? Ha! Ducked for the win! And... what's that? Oh, it's heavy, whatever it is. It looks like a little... Oh, it's Mac. And he, I was about to say, he's a knife, so he's Mac the Knife. Oh, that's even too old for me to get the reference. Hey, don't diss the stash. And here we are in boss time. Okay, how I'm going to do this, uh, Mario is going to be going after Mac the entire time with the hammer. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage. Meanwhile, Mallow is going to be going for Thunderbolt on everybody. I do try to remember the timing on that. And boom, one-shotted. And he is weak to Thunderbolt. So he is stunned and will not attack don't want to waste it when he's by himself though and of course he goes for a flame he's got basically three attacks if I remember right a physical a flame and then a flame wall that attacks everybody but he shouldn't be all too difficult we are a little bit over leveled actually no wait what am I doing no he, you're just attacking right now and I mean even Mallow's getting 12 damage done I wasn't getting that on the shysters and here's the flame wall and it all it's ugly, ugly glory. They actually revamped it when they uh, put part it to the Wii. I am not playing the Wii version. I am playing the original version right now. And so we'll be seeing a lot of that white stuff right there. That doesn't do too much damage on me. So once again, just uh, just fighting all the enemies. Oh, I missed the timing. And the Shysters are back. Are these like upgrade shysters oh uh, yes they are they're called bodyguards my bad well the bodyguards die in one shot anyways oh they respawned damn you and you respawn this only costs two so I can get 12 of these off in this boss fight without too much of a worry here oh I missed the timing on it Oh, we're not getting any time done now. Made me doubt myself, and he jumps off screen. So pretty much, you gotta fight off all the bodyguards. Shouldn't be too tough. Um, yeah, let's just attack them. Let's not waste MP on just these guys. They do have the drain spell. It's a basic fireball spell. I don't know why it's called drain. It does a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Nothing to worry about. This boss fight is pretty easy at this point. Yeah, don't even need to time it right. 
And of course, he comes right back with the flame wall. What a douche. Mac the knife. It's a song, right? It, it sounds like it's a song. It sounds like it's like a Leonard Skinner song. Sorry, I'm not into classic rock. I am into modern rock. Not classic, though. As far as I know, there's no timing to the flame wall. It just automatically does that damage no matter what. One thing I do wish is that uh, they would give the boss's HP gauge or something to let me know, hey, you're almost done. I have no idea how far away I am from beating this guy. There we go, that was it. So that's Mac the Knife. And yes, peace. There is peace now. I have brought peace to Mushroom Kingdom. Thank you for reminding me with the little sign. Hey, what's that? Is that a blue star? Nice. And it dances around Mario. Grab it, Mario. Jump up and grab it. Don't let it get away. Yes, he holds it up over his head like Link. We got the star. And we just let it go? What? And now it's in... What? What? Okay, well, apparently that's, like, our inventory or something of star pieces. So we have our first star piece, one of seven. I don't know if that means we're a seventh of the way through the game. Might be a little bit less than that, might be a little bit more. Yes, I am strong. Thanks to my hammer! And there they run. And that's the end of the Shy Stars. Is there anything around here? No, I guess I'll... Look out, I'm a knife! Oh, Mario's scared. What's up? And gracious! I like your stash, Chancellor. Kind of. They were shysters. We've been fighting them this whole time. And Mac the Knife. Do you know where, who's, who does not Mac the Knife, Chancellor? Yeah, I killed off everybody all by myself. Mallow was there, but he didn't really help that much. He just punched people. I had a hammer. What? Everybody thinks that their grandpa knows everything. You, VV, you get my point. Help us, Mara, you are our only hope. I think you are too. Alright, so. Ugh, so forgetful. Could Mac, the sword like monster who crashed into Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Our heroes move on towards the Kiro sewers and somehow made it sound like he got a coin for giving me the peace sign. You could give me something? What do you mean all you can do is wait? You could give me something, like a Caro Caro Cola. I never explained what that was. Oh, fine, I'll... Yeah, I'll go. You're not gonna stop me, are you? If I fall because of you, I'm gonna jump on your head. Okay, let's go. I never explained what the Caro Caro Colo was. It's basically a mega elixir. For those of you familiar with the Final Fantasy franchise, uh, if you're not familiar with that, basically what it does is it heals up. Well, in this game, it'll heal up all your HP, all your flower points for the entire party. Of course, the the, the flower points are shared, but you get the point. And I remember why Mello was here. He was here to talk to this guy. What's up? Eh. Whoa, you jumped out of your pants. That's not good. You can go to jail for that kind of stuff. And we get a cricket pie. Mallow came all this way for pie. Is that it? Yes, Grandpa will be delighted with his cricket pie that I sacrificed everything for! 
Wait, do you have any? I'm trying to remember, you you have new items. You hate to admit it, but you love this job. Ha ha! I get it. Oh. No, he does not have new items yet. I must be thinking of a later part of the game. What's up, Toad? Alright. Let's go to the world map. And once again, the part must end. So next time on Let's Play... Let's Play... Let's Play Let's Play. Super Mario RPG will be heading towards Kiro Sewers. Will we stink? Will Mallow jump out of his pants again? You'll have to wait to find out next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Hope you laughed, hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.